You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Kentucky women's golf just closed out a fantastic season at the NCAA tournament earlier this month. But golf never stops, especially when you've qualified for the U.S. Open. Keith Farmer caught up with Jensen Castle as she prepares to play on golf's biggest stage. First off, take me back to qualifying and just how you approached it going into qualifying. I approached it with no expectations. I, I mean, I didn't say, I wouldn't say I didn't think I was going to make it, but I was just out there playing 36 holes, getting nice exercise in, missing school, just enjoying it. And Marissa and I, we roomed together the night before, played the practice round, just hung out, and it was just a fun getaway without the team. So now when you finished, you were still outside or you were still in qualifying range? I was, whenever I finished, I was tied for fifth, tied for fifth, and I was like, okay, I'm going home. Like, Marissa, come on, pull it off, because she was tied for first at the time. But the conditions got really rough. Like, it started raining really hard, and the golf course is really hard to walk. The rough's super thick, so when it gets wet, it was extremely hard to hit out of. All right, so then all of a sudden, the field starts coming back to you. Yeah. And I guess you hit the range and start getting ready for a playoff. Yeah, I I went and practiced for like an hour. I'm like, what holes do you think we'll play? Like, you'll do one and nine back and forth as a loop. And I'm like, okay. So here I am picturing the holes, picturing the shots. What do I, what do I need to specifically work on? And then the rest is history. We came in, it's still raining. We're practicing out in the rain. Just trying to get ready. And you're going to get some pros, people that are, are just uh, trying to continue to stay in a field, right? Right. What's that like? I mean, to me, it was just another person. I mean, you're, we're both out here playing the same game. Doesn't matter the experience level. Just out here having fun. I thought the cool thing was that Marissa picked up the bag and started caring for you. She did. What, what did that do for you, and, and what did that mean to you? It was so much fun. Um, she was my partner in Texas. We played a lot of golf together one-on-one, -on -one, just helping each other out four-ball format. And she walked off the golf course. She was the last few time to come in, and I was the first. So I, there, you can tell the difference that we both had to wait a lot. And she's like, you're going out on a playoff? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, will you caddy? She's like, of course. Starts pushing the bag, and there we are, just having fun in the rain. I mean, pouring rain. And it was just her and I, and first hole, just laughing, talking about the golf course and how she played this hole earlier in the day. She eagled it. She's like, oh, I did this and this. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. You know, just enjoying each other's company. So now as you get ready to head to San Francisco, what's, uh, again, I go back to what's going through your mind as you, you make this trip? I'm trying to work on no expectations. It's going to be a fun trip. Lainey Fry on the team is going to go caddy for me, and then Golda is going to go like as my mother of the week. And I'm just going to try and have fun and enjoy every moment, like playing against a ton of great players, the best in the world, learn from them, see what I need to do in the future to put myself back in this situation. Did Lainey like? Was, was she like, I, I got to go with you, or what, what, how did that work out? Well, in the four ball, um, Maria caddied for Marissa, and Lainey caddied for me, and she and I just hit it off. She's very relaxed on the golf course, and I like that, and she knows a lot about golf. So it, it's just a fun group together, her and I. And she was actually going to come caddy for me during the qualifier. Her qualifier was the day before, and it was in like Minnesota or Montana, I don't know. But she, we, she looked at a flight from Minnesota to Pennsylvania. It was going to get in at midnight, and she was going to try and fly out and me pick her up. And I'm like, it's just not making a whole lot of sense. You're going to walk 36 holes this day and then 36 holes the next day? And she's like, oh, you're right. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I really want to caddy. I'm like, no, nah, it's fine. You know, whatever. And then I got in, I'm like, you know what? She's going to caddy. Like, if she can, like, she's going to be there. And she did everything she could. And I'm so excited to have her on the back. <laughs> when you go out there, I'm sure you're probably going to see some people that you look up to. Uh, anybody that you're hoping to see, hoping to, to talk to, and maybe pick an ear, or, you know? Not specifically. I'm actually playing with Lexi Thompson the first round of the practice round, which is just going to be a learning experience. I mean, I look up to him, but at the same time, I'm there to play. Like, I'm not going to be out there fanning and excited to learn. I mean, I'm excited to learn. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to go out there and just fan all over I'm like have you checked out the course yet and do you think it suits your eye do, you know I mean how what are you ex your expectations you just came back from an NCAA championship I'm sure that course was set up pretty difficult are you expecting even more with the US Open I am expecting more and I'm gonna say the same thing I said about Greyhawk I'll worry about the golf course when I get there there's just no point of stressing about it I mean 
it, it, practice what I can and what I did to get in this spot. And it is what it is. Just go out there, have fun, no expectations, and great mindset. And this has to do no, uh, nothing but help you out towards next season here at Kentucky. Yes, definitely. It's going to be a great learning experience for both Laney and I. And especially if I want to, when I do try and go pro, like it's a great learning experience for that. But it will give me a lot of confidence for next year and more U.S. Open qualifiers. The women's U.S. Open first round tees off on Thursday. It will be broadcast on Peacock streaming service and the Golf Channel. Starting with the third round, it will be right here on NBC. I am Jensen's newest, biggest fan. Yeah. You, you know what I mean. Calm. Chill. Calm, no expectations, cool, collected. Fun. I like it. Yeah, best and what of luck to her. For her. Yeah, yeah, and also for Lainey, the LCA alum who gets to yeah. enjoy that experience with her. Very cool. All right, more BBN tonight after the break. We're talking NBA playoffs when we return.